Well, uh, we're down to the home stretch now, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, uh, as you well, say, it's a shame. Well, well, that was a slip of tongue. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. it's, actually, I, I, it's actually a heat. Well, before we go there, I think um, <laughs> the, there's um, someone wants to give you something. Uh, you need to take that off the camera. Well, talking about Generation Unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can tell who they are just by looking at them. <laughs> yes. Uh, she's I'm just trying, sometimes, <laughs> trying to imagine what the, what the workplace is going to be, what, what, what it will look like in 10 years from now, 15 years from now. Um, uh, red braids, hair, yellow hair. Braids, dreadlocks. I'm trying to imagine the, the president. Bald on one side. I'm trying to imagine what the president of the central bank would look like. Um, Jericho. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, <laughs> our artist of the week is Chisholm Eze, um, popularly known as Rexy. I'm surprised they didn't say Rexy Boy. Mm -hmm. um, Rexy is uh, behind many Nigerian hit songs. He has produced some of Nigeria's biggest songs, such as Slatan's Abel God, which you were watching just now, mm -hmm. um, Self Made, and many others. The Anambra State born music producer and multi talented artist is a frequent collaborator with Snatan, Ibile, and Naira Mali. Hello, Chisum, how are you doing? Hello, good day. Happy, happy weekend. Uh, 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 I, I would like to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, I can meet him now. No, no. Okay, let, let, let's keep the conversation going. So, Tell us, tell us, tell us the story, you know, how do, who found who? You found music or music found you? We found ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> there was a collision, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm acting my mom's belly, yeah. I'm doing from the kitchen over there. What was that you said? I said, I for my mom's belly. <laughs> Oh, making music, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you have to tell. Yeah. Okay, t tell us the way it is. T tell us really, really what happened. Okay, well, for me, it started from um, music production. Started from my secondary school. Well, I'm from church. I used to play in church. I used to play for my dad's church, praise and worship, all that kind of stuff. Oh. I was in the choir. Then in school. In Lagos? A, um, music band. There was a school. No, it was in Abuja. Okay. I schooled in GSS Gariki, Abuja. And there was this music band in my school, and I was like the music prefect. So we usually come out on assembly days, play and entertain the students, you know, play popular trending songs. So from there, I got interested in how do these guys make this music actually like, how do they actually make this music? And I started researching, and yeah, from there, I moved to Lagos. Then when I came to Lagos, I came to study in Yabatek, to study printing technology. And I wasn't really feeling the course, and I was trying to find my way around, you know. So I think I had to, I, my production started with a lie. I lied to my friends, to my friends that I produce, and they were surprised. They had to see me confirm it, and I had to walk towards it, you know. And that's how it all started for me. <laughs> So you lived the lie. The lie became yeah. true. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was that supposed to be some kind of prophecy fulfilled? <laughs> Man, I don't know. It just, it just, it just clicked. Everything just clicked at the right time because I, I, I had, a, I had a fake beat that was not mine. Then I, gi I gave it to a friend of mine and lied that it was mine just to, just to find that acceptance by the society. You know, when you're in school and nobody is looking at your side. You know, just, so. When I, when I knew I can do it, so I just believe that, yo, I can do it. I can do this. Like, I make music in school, right? I make music in church, right? So, it was like a challenge for me. When I got my system, I started working towards it. I would skip school for like two weeks of that because I was, I didn't have the confidence, you know, so I had to work hard on it. And yeah, so yeah, let's see. Okay, well, I guess, I guess that sounds like um, you eventually looked for music and you found it. Or it was waiting for you somewhere. But you know, there is one. No, there was music and there was production. And I was like, the music was there, 
but the production thing was so that I found my way. Okay. Found it. All right. Now, um, it's not a lie that you produced uh, some popular beats, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's not a lie, granted. So tell us the story. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to confirm. <laughs> okay, so tell us, tell us the story behind Zanku. Uh, I believe that you have that story. Okay, Zanku started at the point of my life that was really, really rough. Yeah, 2018, I had an accident. Yeah. And the accident really made me quit music. Like, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop music. I don't think it will be for me. Let me get into something else. And then, during that period, I had had a call from, I got a call from somebody in the music industry that, you come and do something for me. It was a favor, it was not really a paid job. I felt like, you let me do this for the person. It's all love. And when I went there, I got to meet um, Zlatan. And Zlatan was like, bro, do you have a beat for me? And I played one particular beat. That beat has always been in my system. I always told myself, once I get to get CDQ in the studio, I'll play this beat for him. But I didn't get the opportunity to see CDQ all those times. So I played it for Zlatan. And Zlatan was just the perfect person for that beat. His energy was just perfect. What he was saying was just perfect. And from there, we just got the vibe and started working from there. We just and I'm so all my all my plans to quit music just changed that particular moment. Like, yo, this is it. I'm doing this from there. We had a god, we had Zanku, we had so many eats under that vibe, under that drawing. Uh, just just, one, just yeah. a quick one. What does Zanku mean for God's sake? <laughs> Zanku means Zlatan. I beg, no kill us. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> um <laughs> Slatan, I beg, no kill us. I Who beg. came up with that? Zanku. Yeah. Who came up with that? Zatan. <laughs> we came up with that itself. <laughs> How did that come to be? <laughs> what what my what God. brought it up? <clears throat> mm. I don't know, it just means you can if you can bring something you can do it because you always want it wanted that thing to stick and yeah we are saying it, I'm saying we're all saying it. So yeah, if you believe something just push towards it and yeah, something is something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was yeah, that was what it meant. That was what the sample meant. I find I've been with us. It's okay. Okay. Now before you worked with Slatten, who else had you worked with? Before with around that period I was working with the likes of Lyta. Chinque Kung, Alamide, those people from that area, mm -hmm. those streets, and the years, and now when I go to my flat, I shoot a guy from the streets. Well, but by, by, by far your biggest is this this one you did with Latin, right? Well, yes, we have a lot of so names now. We have, I, had, I did Sopi, mm -hmm. I did um, KPK. I did ask my personal song, so yeah, the most songs. Too. Uh, but before you go to the one, the one that is something. playing right now, is this is the okay. this one that's playing right now. Is this the beat that you're talking about that you said that Zank, oh, what's his name again? Zlatan was perfect for. Zlatan. No, this 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 is this is not the one. This one is this is not the one. This was like this recent. That's it's an old it's an old song. Oh wow! Yeah. This, one, this one's like the remix. Oh really? Oh. Okay. How did the Zanku dance come to be then? There's this leg work, Zanku leg work. Where you're moving your legs and there's this show. It starts with the leg work, and the likes of Bukoli and other dancers just do it all. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we can't, yeah. un we can't yeah. understand yeah. you, Clearly, Chisholm. Because... Chisholm, we can't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure that uh, the Generation Unlimited can follow exactly what you're saying. <laughs> but really, let's, let's talk about, you know, what do you, how do you see, sincerely speaking, as, as someone who has been operating in the industry for a little bit of time, how do you see 
the industry? Do you think there is a music industry? What do you think is missing? What do you think needs to be added? Mm. The music industry has really been growing for where I met it and where it is now. It's just growing. It's just growing like it's really, really growing. But I feel like the still is more um, involvement because yeah, it's it's growing. It's really lucrative. Like we can't see. It's very clear. That it's work. It's working. And it's a working industry. We we'll just. I just feel like if the government can actually just put an eye on that industry and see what they can do to make it more easy for these guys, more revenues to find talents from this from these creeks. I would be surprised where this music can take the economy because it's really, really working and it's clear that it's working. Mm. Yeah, they are gaining so much acceptance from the international scene. There's a Grammy Award that just came with the help of Bonham Boy. So there's a lot. Mm. I believe if the government can actually pay an attention to this entertainment thing and see how it can positively help the economy. Wow, it would be a big thing for us. Mm. But music is growing every day. It's growing. Now, Re Rexy, I'm sure there's some generation unlimited people listening to you now uh, who would like to be like you tomorrow um would you like what what advice would you give them believe in your craft you know believe in what you do if you, if you dream about it you can achieve it so just keep working hard hard work never fails so keep working hard, prayer and yeah god Sky would be a limit. Sky would be the limit. Hmm. Okay, uh, I, I understand. Yeah, you, you. What can you tell us about that Grammy recognition? Yeah, as being a Grammy nominated producer, it was a lot. Now being a I mean, uh, it was even a lot more because I started getting recognition from international sense, different calls from the international labels, different collaborations from international artists. You know, the price just went up and it was amazing from that big moment. And big thanks to Bonner Boy for such opportunity. Uh, yeah, hmm. um, please back up a little. Uh, you said, did you just say that your price also just went up? Oh yes, to like triple, four pool, boom, boom, boom. Triple, you know, four pool, five pool. National <laughs> recognition. <laughs> um, is it also safe to say that your tax has gone up? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I guess so. It should follow. First, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, because. It is exactly follows because when you're trying to get paid, which is all, it's all, we all see, it's all written there. And yeah, it's, I don't, it's the government that keeps mm. that. So yeah. <laughs> you're saying all that very grudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rexy, you're saying that very grudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> the more money you make, the more you pay in taxes. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it is. Like, I don't that's know, how it like, is. The more money, the more tax. So of yeah. course, more money, more yeah. tax. Yeah. Okay then, uh, Rexy, we wish you all the best and keep us abreast your goings on, and we would like to hear of all your successes and celebrate them. After all, you are in Nigeria. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Mm? It's a pleasure. Take care Thank then, uh, Rexy. <laughs> Chisom. Thank you. Eze. Thank you brings a close to sunrise for this day. Uh, I'm Alero Do wishing you a very happy weekend indeed. And don't forget, today is local government elections in Absolutely. Lagos and Ogun states. If you haven't voted, please go and do the needful so that you have a right to complain if the person you have elected is not doing the work that he's supposed to do. I wish you a happy weekend. And also remember, the Delta variant of COVID-19 is still out there. Take all the precautions you can and your advice too because your life matters. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'm Ayo Makinde. Bye.